my learning assignment, I decided to learn how to juggle a soccer ball because as you can see, I was not very good. Starting off, I could only keep the ball up for a maximum of two kicks. In order to improve this number, I needed to learn proper techniques by reading up, watching videos and asking my friends for tips. This style of learning is based on the social learning theory developed by Albert Bandura. It involves learning through observation of others' actions, attitudes and behaviours and then modelling your own based on what you have observed. To effectively improve my juggling skills, I needed to retain information I had learnt and then reproduce the actions. I did this by making mental images of the steps involved in successfully completing the skill, such as keeping the ball low, slightly spinning it backwards, and controlling the power of my kicks to reduce the ball speed as much as possible. Effective observations are considered to be affected by four key aspects. Attention, how interested the individual is to learn the topic at hand. Memory, remembering what you were paying attention to. This may be aided by mental images and visual cues. Rehearsal, reproducing the actions you've been studying. And motivation, the motive to learn the skill, such as prizes, incentives or self-pride. Here is me practicing the skill. I repeated what many of the videos showed me in dropping the ball onto my foot, kicking it twice and then catching it. As I progress and build confidence, I begin to spin the ball backwards and catch it below my hips. Through my learning, I felt that my intrinsic motivation could be specifically related to the attribution theory. This can be explained as students believe the outcome is a result of the effort they make to practice and learn, rather than their previous abilities. After practicing for about an hour each day, in one week I was able to get up to 10 juggles. This is likely to be my procedural memory recalling all the steps involved in completing the skill. Similar to when you learn to ride a bike, swim a cricket bat or tie a shoelace. With practice, these tasks become easier. Like all learning experiences, I did go through a period of uncertainty and frustration. At times I felt like it was too hard and wanted to give up. However, I knew that this stage would pass if I was persistent with practice and at the end of it I would accomplish what I set out to do. This is described in this diagram of the learning pit. As I did, learners initially experienced doubts and wanted to quit. However, once these hurdles are overcome, they begin to climb out of the pit and reach success and accomplishment. 